G'day viewers, Lawn Lads here, back with another renovation today. We finally have some good weather in Melbourne. The sun is out, there's five clouds in the sky. <laughs> We're uh, at James's house, Chappie's house, this bloke. We're renoing his front lawn, his kike, his back tiff top as well. That is the plan today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is the fleet for today's reno. So, each machine has serves a purpose. So, we'll start with, you know, obviously what we're using today. First one being uh, core air owner. So this is obviously a machine operated core air with a Honda motor on it. Um, we don't own this. This is hired out to fire this machine out. So, this is to make the job a lot easier and quicker for us. This um, is called Michael Jordan, because yeah. it's the GOAT. Now, an alternative to that, if you haven't got one of those, One of these bad boys. This is just a manual core aerator. Does the same job as that, but a lot more hard work, a lot more time. So if you're obviously restrictive of time, like we are, we're doing three renos in a weekend. We need one of those to save a lot of time. So that's what we're doing this weekend. So that's the first thing. This is the second machine. This is a Scott Bonner 45, 14 inch solid, converted to a Verdi. You would have seen this on the channel before if you've watched previous videos. This is designed to Obviously, be thatch the lawn, thin the lawn out, um, cut up all those runners, sort of uh, open up the soil profile. But you can also use this as a groomer as well. So you can use it as both. It's a very good style machine. So we're going to be using that today. But then we're also going to try this machine here, which is the Ryobi 2x18 volt scarifier, which that is a pure scarifier. That's not designed for grooming. That's not designed for anything else but pretty much renovations. So. We're going to trial that today, we're going to show you some content on that and we're going to make a video purely on uh, obviously as well reviewing this machine and what we think of it. That's the other machine, now these are just our rotary mowers, this is just to pick up clippings pretty much. These are our vacuums for the yeah, day. Yeah, these are the vacuums. So, my cheap Victor Classic cut which is filthy at the moment because <laughs> it's already done two renos and obviously your Mick uh, Mazport, 3000 President, so this is an absolute beautiful machine. I used it for the first one today and I was pretty impressed. So yeah, that's pretty much just to vacuum up all the clippings. And then this is the big boy that's <laughs> gonna do most of the work. Which is... What'd you call it? Uh, Victor El Scalpo. El Scalpo. El Scalpo. So this is, a, this is the name of this mower, El Scalpo. You can tell it's been used a little bit. Yeah. Oh, 100%. It's, this thing saves us so much time. This is the MVP. Oh, mate. This is the MVP of lawn do, renos. Oh, like, you need one of these. If you're doing renos year-round, invest some money buy one of these on marketplace facebook marketplace you can pick one up we picked this up for 80 bucks runs perfect we've done nothing to it all yeah. i did was fix up the jam pull cord which was just catching on the engine cover did a tin snips cut it done and it runs beautifully so if you can get one of them and you've got some room to store it get one of those it's so handy then obviously some wheelbarrows to move some sand around it's pretty standard we've got some lawn leveling rakes um obviously some flat mouth shovels to spread sand. One of these is really good, especially at the moment with all the rain we've got. Um, clippings sort of don't always get picked up on the mower. These are good for just raking them up and yeah. then picking them up with a shovel. And this is also good for that as well. This is good for just, just pretty especially much. Especially the yeah. other side, the flat side. The That's flat side's more, I reckon, yeah. Especially when it gets in the concrete, it's good to sweep it all into a pile. Dragging up plugs and clippings and stuff. And I think that's it. It's pretty much everything we're using. You don't have to use every single bit of fit, like a piece of equipment, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But the other thing I forgot is we're gonna obviously use a whipper snipper. Oh yeah. Just to cut, cut yeah, around just to the cut edges, the edges. And scalp it a bit. But if you have the ability to get, well especially if you can rent out a aerator and that type of stuff, if you have a really good scalper, utility mower, yeah. they're gonna help, that's gonna make your weekend a lot less You can get stressful. away with, like I said, just scalping and aerating, which is what we did yesterday on my, on my old man's lawn. Um, but saying that, he had a, a sort of buffalo kikuyu mix, so you don't want to scarify buffalo. Big no-no. Scalping, yes, as long as you kept the runners on the surface. Because, like I said, if you take those surface runners out, it's not going to grow back. So, you know, with a pure kikuyu or huge lawn like we've got, go to town. Go as hard as you possibly can on it, it's going to come back. Because there's plenty of energy below the surface to grow back, so yeah. And we do not recommend, like I said, we do not recommend doing this on a 
the way we're going to do it today on a buffalo lawn we don't recommend doing it on um any cool season turf you can like i said you can scarify and give you a clean out but you're going to expect that you're going to lose some some turf and it's not going to grow back so just be very careful what type of turf you're doing on let's get into it first step we are going to go out and uh mark james's uh, irrigation system his sprinklers just so we know that we don't run over the top um, and destroy them so that's our first step second step victor l scalpo is coming out um, we're going to sculpt this back to absolutely nothing. Step two, we can go in and vacuum like we just said. We're going to be using both of these, so we'll probably be on one each. We're going to vacuum up everything. Step three, we will be scarifying. We're going to use this. We're going to test this out. Uh, we're going to give you our thoughts about this uh, piece of equipment as well. Um, after all the, that's cleaned up as well, we'll go back and vacuum and whatever. Out comes Michael Jordan, the billy goat. Uh, we are going to be plugging everything here, then we're going to be cleaning up, and then... With these? That's yeah, what we use to clean up? Back and forth, <laughs> sand back there, the sun, the top dress as well. Really nice, good quality sand. That's our steps. We're going to get cracking right now.
there. Bit of an update. Everything's been sculpted. Uh, one thing that we're just talking about is this area. Um, we didn't get it as low. James is going to go over again, see how low we can get it. But obviously, this whole section so much thicker. And if you're a, a regular viewer and you've uh, seen our other videos of the channel, this whole area, um, more winter damage. Um, it's taken longer to recover, so this area was able to get lower, more scalping to dirt. Uh, so let's see, now that we've scarified and stuff, let's see if we can get this, this section a bit lower. Uh, so now that's much better. James has gone over it. He's done, done this whole section. Uh, it's obviously still covered in grass. I've just blown some away so you can see. But... That is what you're looking for. So we're really happy with that. Um, now we just got to clean up some more. That's the story of the day. Cut grass, clean grass. Big fanboy. Just watching the Renault. Dad, what are you doing to my grass? <laughs> nah, we've scalped and vacuumed up all the snot. Yeah. We're pretty happy with how it's turned out considering it is still very moist underground, under the foot, the but, but uh, it's all in the fun. Next step, old mate Michael Jordan the goat, Billy Goat, Red Roo, we're going to take some plugs out. Uh, massive thanks to Bacchus Marsh Sand and Soil for um, purchasing this machine and renting it to us for the weekend. Making our life easier. Making our life much easier. Feel, mate. <laughs> <Fear o 'clock. laughs> this machine's been good put put to good use. Um, cores are done on the front. Anyway, we've still got to do another another plot. But um, yeah, it's looking good. Pulled really good cores out. Really happy with it. Nice and deep. <clears throat> Finger test here. That's down at the bottom there. So I'm at my knuckle. So at that deep there. It's hitting, you can see it's hitting the clay, sort of. Where is it? Here we are. Clay there. Pulling really solid cores out. So we're on to the uh, tiff tough now. Gonna give it a uh, give it a scalp. A light scalp. It looks pretty good, so gonna go very light on this renovation. Light scalp, and then we're gonna give it a light top dress. And we're gonna really focus our attention along the section over here that's obviously quite low where we've had to put a drain in last year so there's a bit of work to do there but the rest of it's pretty flat so pretty happy with it I'm not gonna go too hard on it it's, uh, we did do like I said an early early renovation um, about two months ago now 
and it's come back really well and all the work's been done so all we need to do now is just go over it lightly and core it as well and we're going to core it of course yeah, yeah. it needs a core a light scalp a core and that's pretty much it so yeah let's get into it yep we're hungry we haven't eaten all day struggling nice plumber's crack Alright lads, we are pretty much finished top dressing the front, the cock you, looking pretty good, bit of a beach, pretty much now we're just going to wait till it all uh, dries, which is probably not going to happen today because it's going to rain, like usual, and then we'll 
fine tune it. I reckon we'll just go over it, brush it in a bit more. We'll all do that. And um, still a fair bit of sand left over. Plus we need to do the back a little bit. So, and probably go over the laneway section over there. But yeah. Mm. Nice looking beach. Help. <laughs> Help. We're pretty cooked. Yeah, thanks for these two too. And the dog for being a pain in the ass. <laughs> Let's get into the back. done the renovations that's it for this time around we're cooked <laughs> it's a nice beach here um, yeah so hope you enjoy the video hope you learned something um, please like subscribe uh, make sure you hit the bell button too so you're notified when we upload new videos um, if you want a sticker hit us up on Instagram We've got stickers and yeah we'll see you in the next video Cheers. See you later.